I'm Austin Leak, and welcome to my shit show. Welcome back, peeps. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the chain case again. Yep. I know you're gonna be like, God damn it, Austin, leave it be with this chain case stuff. But I wanted to point out a few things when you're installing the chain on a Skidoo Rev chassis. So you look in here, you'll see this little spring that's on the tensioner. Uh, Skidoo has a really good design of making it so you can't really over tighten your chain and mess things up. Um, so first off, when you, when you tighten this chain, there's a little lip on the, the bolt that runs along in here that threads into this tensioner. And what happens when you tighten it up, you, you'll have a gap. Um, you'll see the lip on that bolt. You'll have a gap. And as you tighten it up, that bolt, uh, lip gets closer and closer and closer to the chain case. And once it hits the chain case, then you're pretty much bottomed out with, with the bolt and the groove that's on that bolt and you're good to go. Um, the next thing I wanted to discuss is if you're changing gears, for example, on this one, I had a 15 wide top gear and a 13 wide bottom gear. I don't know why it was just like that when I got it, like this thing's Frankenstein together. So anytime I order parts for it, I have to make sure that what I'm ordering is going to be correct and it's going to fit. Um, like you saw in the last video, that chain was messed up, the link was broken, and uh, I'm assuming that the people before me went to a 15 wide because the sled's putting out more power. I don't know. They came stock with 13 wides, so I figured why not just keep it with a 13 wide. So I went with a 21 top here in a 42 bottom gear and it's going to be geared for 87 miles an hour at uh, 8500. When I originally ordered uh, my gear, I ordered a bottom gear and I somehow messed up the numbers when I entered, entered them into my phone and they were wrong. So I ended up buying a top gear too. So this whole uh, gear and chain setup is going to be brand new. But when you, if you are going to be changing anything, in your chain case as far as gears and widths and, and things like that. You wanna make sure that you at least put a straight edge on your gears to make sure that they are aligned properly. Um, and if not, that allows you the opportunity to get some spacers or shims to make sure that, that they are perfectly aligned. But it's as simple as just finding something like this, a straight edge, laying it on the top and the bottom sprocket, and you can run it Try to get it on a flat surface here and you, all you have to do is just look up and see if there's any gap in the top or the bottom of it to me this looks dead nuts on so i did order standard uh skidoo gears i mean i think they were from team one was venom one's team if you know that venom and team are both the same now team industries turned into venom whatnot so that's just a little helpful tip when you're in your chain case and uh, tensioning your chain. That's all I got, later.